Hi everyone and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to talk about creating a visual concept for a release. So ideally every release you have, whether it is a single or an album, ideally you want a visual concept. So when people see it on socials, it's associative. They learn, oh yeah, that visual is associated with that release, that song, that album. And it just helps people connect with it, lets them know what you're doing and it yeah, it's all about familiarity, recognizing you, the release, that kind of thing. And it just helps to connect those dots. Plus, it gives another dimension to the song. So people have value through the song, through listening to it. Adding visuals is like another dimension. So they're getting more value. They listen to the song on Spotify, they come over to your socials and boom, they're getting more value. So that is what we are going to talk about today. If you're new here, please like this video and subscribe. You don't have to like it if you're new. If you're old, please like it. If you're new, please subscribe. I make videos regularly-ish on visuals, branding and social media aimed at independent musicians. So if that is useful to you, then please stick around and join us. Okay, so if you have a release coming up and you need a visual concept and you have no idea where to start, you are in the right place. Step one, I'm going to loosely number these steps by the way. Think about when you wrote the song, think about any imagery that comes to mind. You might already have something, something might have already come up while you were writing, recording, or maybe not. Either is fine. So any images you have already, jot down. And then if you have none, sit for a minute, maybe 10 minutes quietly, think about the song, listen to the song, think about the time when you were writing it, and then just see if any imagery or any ideas comes up at all. You might have to do this a couple of times, but you should be able to get something. And this can be anything, okay? So imagery, colors, shapes, patterns, textures, locations, just anything that comes to mind at all. It could even be like a theme or a feeling or a lyric that stands out that you want the, to be the core of everything. Just anything that you can bring out visually. Once you have like a few notes or ideas jotted down, then head over to Pinterest and start a board. So this initial stage can be quite chaotic if you need it to be. Just add any imagery, any ideas that you have. It's almost like just idea generation at this point. Add all kinds of imagery, anything that you have written down. Don't worry if it's not cohesive yet, it will be. Just, you know, don't say no at this stage. Don't be logical at this stage. Just churn out all your ideas and get them in images as well, all saved together. Okay, so from there you can channel it further. You select your favorite images from your Pinterest board, listen to your song again, think about your song again, make sure that it feels authentic to you, like it represents the song or album that you are putting out to the world. Pick your favorite images and then do another board of like channeled visuals. So start with those favorites and then add other similar ones and branch out a little bit maybe from them. So if you like say a black and white image, look at different kinds of black and white imagery. Um, that's just an easy example, but you know, pick like the visual elements that are in your board, any that repeat, take with you to your favorites, that kind of thing. And then just keep adding, keep adding. So from here, I would create a rough initial guide for your release. Now this can be, I'm doing this on a kind of simplified level for you guys because I want it to be accessible for everyone. But obviously you can go as in depth and as professional as you want with this. Um, but yeah, first of all, just a rough initial guide. So this will be like a PDF document or a Word document even, Illustrator, whatever uh, format or program you feel comfortable in. The main thing is that you have these notes collated. So for the initial guide, take your channeled imagery, any imagery from there that you know, okay, I want this release to be all pink and purple or all pastel colors or black and white photography or, you know, anything nature themed um there the ideas are just literally endless it could be animated it's just my mind boggles with how many ideas there could be in this so take your your favorite imagery where your your idea is starting to form and then put that in your initial guide as a mood board if you can channel it further and further then obviously do that but this is just an initial guide so you've got the mood board in your initial guide and then you can make any notes, any lyrics that stand out. So if you have picked a lyric, 
that is going to run as the theme for the release or the concept and the campaign, then put that in. Any other notes you have, any thoughts you had while writing, recording, just collate a kind of initial foundation for this release, whether it's a song or an album, um, and put in as much information, as much imagery as you can. From here, write a list of all the assets that you need for your campaign. So like for me, for this release coming up, I'll talk more about that later, we're gonna do lots of mini music videos. So we're not doing one really complex, high budget music video, but we are gonna do lots of mini ones. So they would go on my asset list, mini videos for these tracks. Um, so put down photo shoot, any content you know you need for social media, videos, um, the, oh my god, the name has slipped my mind, the um, Spotify, Canvas, Canvas, Spotify Canvas video, all the assets you need, headers for your social medias, anything like that, write down a list. If you are unsure of what you need, let me know in the comments and I'll do a whole other video on assets for a campaign. But for now, get a list and then you know what you have to do. I would recommend at the very least doing a photo shoot because as mentioned in my social media release campaign course on my website, check that out if you want. Just having a photo shoot, you can actually get so much content just on that one photo shoot day that will easily last you for like a solid but basic social media campaign. So if you are the kind of artist who wants to promote on socials but hasn't really delved into that yet, then at least do a photo shoot and check out that course because you can just do so much on that day if you're organized and you have your checklist. That's a tangent, but onwards with this. Okay, so you have all your assets and you have your foundation of your initial guide for your visual concept. So now you can start working on each thing. So. Not everything has to be just 100% you know, confined to this guide. This guide is here as a foundation. From there you can think, okay, so we can develop in this area for the music video, or we can go with in this direction for the photo shoot. So all these assets will all be aligned um, and cohesive, but you know, if, if you've put like, oh, forest nature theme, you don't have to do a music video in a forest and then a photo shoot in a forest and do everything in a forest. Does that make sense? So you've got your nature theme, but you can veer out, veer out with different developed ideas for each creative asset. So yeah, everything is contained within this visual world, but each holds its own value too and its own identity. That's a good way of looking at it. Okay, so once you have this guide in place and you have these developed ideas for each thing, that makes it so much easier to find a photographer, find a videographer, even if you're working with students for free or using friends in your network, it still is so helpful to take this document to them and say, this is the vibe, this is the visual concept, and this is my channeled idea for a music video or a photo shoot. They get an idea of what you're about. Um, ideally, you have like an artist brand guidelines as well, but that's a different story. For this concept, they understand your goals and your vision, and that is super important than just going to a photo shoot and, you know, standing, ending up standing against a graffiti wall or something, and everyone does it, and it's funny. Okay, so I hope those tips were helpful. Um, um, I'm now going to give you an example. So I am working as manager and creative director for Four String Boy. We are establishing him as a solo instrumental ukulele player after being a music teacher full time. And I'm currently working on a big album campaign for later in the year. So there's singles release first and then the album and I'm doing a big campaign complete with music videos. So I'm just going to give you um, an example of what we're doing for him so you can relate those tips to real life. So his album is a concept album. It is weather themed and it is instrumental ukulele, but not standard kind of folk jolly ukulele. It's, I mean, I can link it below so you can listen, but it's moody, It's his, he's a virtuoso player. It's very intricate. He uses a lot of harmonics. So this concept album is about the weather. So that was the initial idea that he had. Concept album, weather related, each track a different weather. I think this wasn't intentional, but also having something like weather is great because everyone experiences it and everyone can relate. So that's always nice as well with, in terms of writing, just if 
think. Okay, so what we did initially was his brand guidelines, which I'll link up below if you haven't seen, but the cover art we did first. So we found a building in Denmark that has really cool architecture. So Danish architecture, one of his consistent visual elements, that's one of his veins that runs through his visual brand. Two, this building had this crazy cool abstract painted ceiling so it was like modern architecture and then the ceiling was this abstract painting so and we just felt like oh, that abstract in an abstract way represents you know all the different forms of weather in the sky <laughs> like that was a no-brainer we yeah we went with that so that was where we started in terms of visuals so we had done the brand guidelines the foundation and now we're moving on to cover art and that represents you know the album weather it's called ver which is weather in danish so we've definitely got the danish influence there as well and then for the single covers, and actually for every track, just in case we use it in the campaign, I've taken a photo, which I'll put on the screen, of, again, it shows cool Danish architecture, but also you have a good shot of a canal and the sky, which I feel is where the weather comes in. And I've taken an, the same image in that same spot, but in different forms of weather to match each track. So one in sunshine, click, one in fog, one in rain so you see that image and how the different weather affects it so that one's quite obvious we've gone with an obvious you know theme for that this is the different weathers and the cover art is a bit more abstract and i think both are great we're going to integrate real metaphorical stuff into the campaign and also really obvious stuff and i think it's nice to have a variation of that obviously you don't have to do any of this this is just giving you an example of how deep i go because i'm a nerd so for the mini music videos, this is for the campaign. We're focusing it heavily on short video because short video is so prominent still. And this is gonna go a bit more metaphorical. So we're gonna pick unique locations that ideally represent Danish architecture or spaces in some way, um, but are more metaphorical versions of the weather in the song. So for rain, for example, we're gonna find a fountain maybe and you know there's other ideas there but so there's it's water and it's falling but it's not obvious oh standing in the rain playing the song um so yeah so that i'll fill you in more with the ideas when i have them we're at the very beginning stages right now but i just wanted to give you an idea of how you know that initial idea is weather and it's a concept album and how we've taken that and thought okay this would be cool for the cover art this would be cool for the, the mini music videos and also seeing which assets are suited to you as well. Like we very much picked which assets felt, you know, we acknowledged current trends. We acknowledged like um, for Four String Boy, he likes to play in his content. Like that is his thing. He enjoys playing. He wants his content to be based around his playing. So that's what we're doing for the mini music videos. That's why we're not having, you know, an actor or a story as such. It's all going to be based around his playing. So artist enjoyment. Um, artist values, you know, preferences, um, and what fits the actual release. <laughs> this plant is doing me in. So yeah, hopefully that example is helpful to you and the tips as well. Just remember, it, it might feel overwhelming, and it can be, but it's all about that initial concept, the research you put in, the planning, that is where amazing ideas come from, or simple ideas, but they connect and are executed super well. So it just shows how much thought um, has gone in and how much value you can bring to that audience with all these little puzzle pieces. That is how I would go about about creating a visual concept as an independent music artist. I hope it was useful to you. Um, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!